By the time you read this, it will be too late, and I will be at peace. I am not the first person to find themselves tired of life. I will not be the first person to put an end to it all. Some people commit suicide via a handful of pills, or a warm bath and cut wrists. That isn't for me. That's too gentle, too clean. It doesn't show enough content for the world that makes you. I'm going to cut my own throat, left to right, ear to ear. And I'm doing it in the morning. I would have liked there had been a sunrise for my final moments, but the forecasts are cloudy with a chance of rain. One more disappointment. The blade is in my hand. A well-used boning knife with serrated edges. I've been preparing for almost half a year, studying medical journals. And tracing the path the knife must take. This isn't the thing you can practice easily, but I think I've developed a foolproof technique. One clean cut will sever both of my carotid arteries. Just so long as I don't lose the nerve or fumble the job. The last thing I want to do is survive and have to explain what I've done. I've decided to do it in my home while wearing my best suit. I'll be standing in front of a window with my favorite album playing, Abbey Road. I'll make the cut in the pause between the end and Her Majesty. A grave has already been purchased. A closed casket. A quiet burial has been requested. My specifics of my estate will be liquidated and dispersed to whatever charities might be interested. Don't think I've taken this path because of some kind of mental illness. This may be the sanest decision I've ever made. Life has its joys, but I think if you really keep track, the tragedies always outweigh the triumphs. We've all tried so hard. In the end, what is it worth? Everything dies. Everything rots away. The evening moods gets bleaker, and the nights grow longer. The old saying: "Better to have loved and lost, or if you don't succeed, try again." Are cruel platitudes created by one generation to pass their misery. On to the next. Some philosopher said it was better to have never been born, and I can't disagree with him. Better to never have been born at all, but in absence of that, better to die. If you are shaking your head at this, wishing you could have told me how wrong I was, you probably think life is sweet. You're probably wondering why I didn't reach out to my friends and family, to someone that might profess they care for me, but that would be impossible because they're dead already. I had to practice my foolproof technique somehow.